Good morning, good morning, good morning. Buenos dias, man, to Yogi -Yo. Welcome to Daily Discipline number 772, primarily in a row. My name's Rob Hoback. Happy that you're here. Honored and humbled that you keep coming back like for reals. Hey, it's Friday. Not just any Friday. It's Black Friday. It's the day after Thanksgiving. It's an effort Friday, and we got work to do, so let's do it. First things first, still the realist. You know what else I am? I'm working. Yeah. It may be a work holiday, but man, I got a lot of work to do. I'm sure you do too. So yeah, I'm working. And on my real talk this morning, as I was, you know, and I took my time, I didn't set my alarm. I just let myself naturally wake up and kind of ease into my morning, turn on the news, start listening to things. And you know what? It's like one thought just kept replaying it. We are what we repeatedly do. Like I heard about the Dallas Cowboys. Nothing that Jerry Jones, Stephen Jones, uh, Mike McCarthy, anybody on the Cowboys did. I'm like, I've heard every single one of these stories before, right? And then they went on to the Washington football team, like Dan Snyder, this, Ron Rivera, that, uh, like heard all these things, including Alex Smith, that he's a warrior. He came back from almost losing his leg and now he's winning games and put his team in a position to win the NFC East, right? Like we are what we repeatedly do. And it made me sit there and think like, Rob, what are the things that I repeatedly do that I don't like to admit that I repeatedly do, but that tell other people who I really am, Right. And my challenge to you is to have the same conversation with yourself, right? Like, are you late all the time? Are you early all the time? Are you the person who, who, who shows grace all the time? Are you the person who gossips, you know, good, bad? What are the things that we repeatedly do? And if we don't like what the answer is, there's only one person can change it. That's right. It's us, right? So remember that. We are what we repeatedly do. Not what we think we repeatedly do or the things that we intended to repeatedly do, it's we are what we repeatedly do. All right, let's do our thank yous and we're done for today. Number one, God's been good to us in the good times of that. Yeah, you know, yesterday, uh, just lots of prayers, lots of prayers of being thankful and um, prayer works, right? Don't know how, that's what we put everything in the God is good buckets. Number two, thankful for the NFL. NFL uh, has become just a big part of Thanksgiving uh, festivities and you know, I, I talked about it briefly yesterday. I can remember as a small kid going to Thanksgiving with my parents down to my dad's mom's house, which seemed forever. Look, it took like two hours. That might, might as well have been two weeks for little kids, right? And we would get there and they'd be watching the Detroit Lions playing football. On a, a, Yeah, just I can still remember the smell of my grandma's house walking inward, the awkwardness. And just I can remember it all, right? But I'm thankful it's still around. Thankful for my family. Um I'm so thankful that my sister lives here and, um, you know, our bond just continues to grow tighter and tighter, which is amazing because, you know, when we were kids, like I, we only spent a few years living in the few in the same house before I left and got on with my life. So it's a blessing. Uh, I'm thankful for positivity. Right. Um, talk about we are what we repeatedly do. If we, we remain positive, we will become a beacon of light for others. Like that is like positivity. Right. Just thankful for that. Uh, thankful for the holiday season, right? Everybody seems to behave a little bit nicer during the holiday. Not everybody, most people, right? Um, but it's, I, I do enjoy uh, the, the holiday feeling in the season, the, the candles and the smells and cookies and all that stuff. I'm thankful for Shutterfly who sent me a, uh, a reminder. They've been sending me these things. I just redid my, confirmed my email address and they sent me a uh, you know, remember 13 years ago, so it was like when I took Sam to Phoenix when he's just a baby and like visiting with some friends. I'm like, wow, that was that long ago. So I, I appreciate that. I'm thankful for just history in general so that we can see what we repeatedly do, not just ourselves, others. Like, OK, you know, there, there's the, like the persona and then let's look at the facts. Right. And then yesterday, you know, as we were getting ready, I got a text message uh, wishing me a happy Thanksgiving from my niece, Grace. And uh, I can't talk about grace cubed enough. The grace that has been extended to me from others when I didn't deserve it. When I found the grace in my heart to extend to others who don't deserve it. And I'm like, you know what? I need to do that because people have done that for me. And then my niece grace, right? You know what else I'm thankful for? Today, tomorrow, I'm thankful for it all. It's how it works, right? For me to be thankful, or for me to be happy, it starts with me being thankful and grateful, saying it out loud, coming here, showing up. And then all of a sudden, like happiness begins, right? And maintains. We are what we repeatedly do. I'd like to be happy. And for me to be happy, I have to be thankful. And two plus two is always far. With that, we're done. Hands up. Peace out. We're better together. 
Appreciate you stopping by on an F it Friday. We'll be back tomorrow, Sabbath, Saturday. We'll see you then. This is hashtag real talk. Maybe we'll have a little Sunday or Saturday morning prayer breakfast mm -hmm. with some leftovers.